The first image target used was the picture of a book cover as a proof of concept of using uh, any image that can be found in the museum and to test the flexibility of Euphoria slash Unity tools. So it's a less quality, lesser quality image target, but it still can be used, proving the flexibility of such tools. Then I used a simple PNG file inside the Euphoria image target manager, and it worked fine, better than the previous one, but both of them were pretty, pretty much usable. Then for the object targets, smaller targets like this cow toy proved difficult to be recognized by the camera just because of the size of the object, even if the object is quite simple, but at particular angles with good lighting conditions, the object is perfectly recognizable and the overlay can be seen in the, in the picture. But the training process and the recognition proved more difficult than bigger objects like the Benitier um, shell, which was much bigger, so it can be recognized at many more angles, as we can see in the video, compared to a smaller object. So it's more appropriate to use bigger objects, not huge objects, like some artifacts found in the natural history museums, but bigger objects are a better fit for object recognition, even if they are, as the Benitier shell, more complex, more detailed, as can be seen in the image files, uh, 3D object files that have been outputted from the scanning process. So, yes, thank you.